Really well. well. Yeah, we we, um, we didn't expect to. Uh, well, we released it about two weeks ago on a, a digitally only, and uh, so it's available on iTunes and Amazon. And we didn't expect it to chart, and it went into the top 20 in the first few days. So we were really surprised by that. We've had uh, some, some good reviews so far. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting there. We've been really busy since it well since it came out. We've been gigging pretty much every day, or doing like a radio session, or interviews here and there. But no, it's we haven't really had time to sort of sit down and think too much about it, it's, which is what we want. I think we want to be busy. What do we have the other day? A new kind of dip. Oh yeah, yeah. Go <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. on. <Come> on <laughs> what, what would the listener be in store for? A journey. Yeah, I mean, with the whole album was was done over a six month period out in France with a producer called James Sanger, and we we really sat down and really experimented with our sound, with the the concepts of the songs, and I think that the whole album has its own kind of sound, um, different from what we've done before. So hopefully, it's a we like to think it's a, it's a journey, the way we've ordered the songs as well. We spoke about this before, but I think like iTunes on iTunes we're under the alternative section, which I think we're quite we're quite happy. We've never really described ourselves as an alternative band, but I think I don't know. I, I prefer that to like to indie. We're not we're not indie. Yeah. It's kind of, when we were making the album, the sort of bands we listened to were like The Killers and Muse and Kings of Leon and that sort of sort of band. And oh, we didn't want to copy them, but you know they they definitely. Gave us that, that's just what we like, that's what we listen yeah. to, yeah. and it, it comes out in our music, I guess, subconsciously, yeah. Individually? Individually. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me, uh, I'll have to, you'd have to come back to me. Yeah. Um, probably, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably, uh, like a, it was a drum teacher, I think, in school, I just saw him play. It's someone boring, really. It wasn't really anyone famous. But Stevie Wonder's always been a. He'd be well chuffed with being called boring. <laughs> <laughs> the drum, drum teacher. Drum teacher. Yeah. Yeah. It's just for you. I think Stevie Wonder. Yeah. I'd have to say my, my dad. Yeah. Oh, I should have oh. said dad. <laughs> he always. Uh, <laughs> Do you know <laughs> He always had music. Every, you know, he was a musician. but well, he is a musician as well. So there's always guitars and pianos lying around the place, and he was a songwriter. So. Rob's dad. <laughs> Very inspirational. Yeah. Yeah. No, my dad was well in uh, top of guitar. No, you won't let me to shame now. Stevie Wonder, what was and I my, thinking? And my mother, she <laughs> taught me how to sing. She didn't teach me how to sing, she's terrible. But, yeah, my father, yes. Yeah, it's from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, no, but being like around the house, my mum and dad were always playing music growing up, and that's why I became just a fan of yeah. pop song, really. So whatever genre it is in, just a fan of a kind of four minute tune. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've just been playing lots, lots of different venues all around different cities and stuff so far. But like uh, this summer. There's some more like venue gigs coming up, but we're also trying to tie it in with like a street gig tour as well. So everywhere we've got a proper gig, we can go and play in like the afternoon or in like a town, you know, the busiest place in the town or city centre. And we do it full band as well. We you know we don't just rock up like this. We've got the drum kit, the generator, PA system, and it's pretty so loud. We, we've come up with a list. We kind of sat down with a map and figured out where to go. So it's all on our website on rubylux.net, and on there you can yeah, we've, we've got it all planned out. Super busking. They say what what you'd get at a, at a venue gig, well, on the streets. And uh, yeah, we'll be selling stuff which you can give us uh, an amount of money for. That's it's up all, to you. It's all completely illegal. We shouldn't be doing it, but it's it seems it's to not work well. It's not illegal. It's I think it is illegal. illegal. The police turn up and kindly ask us to move on, and then we do. But until that point, we try and vlog as many CDs and T-shirts as possible. But it's good to legal, like stealing bread for a starving family. <laughs> Yeah, that's how yeah. we justify it. <laughs> but from a, a general kind of live show point of view, let's say there's, there's a lot of energy mm -hmm. on stage. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's September. Right. October. 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 October, I think, yeah. yeah. We're going to Perth, Australia, which nice. is a... Festival of uh, the Amazing. One, one movement festival, yeah. 
So how do you feel about that? Yeah, yeah. we're tying in a few other venues around there as well, so we should be out there for a little while. We have kind of a small, well, small to medium sized fan base out in Australia anyway. We had one of our songs featured on, on like Neighbours and a couple of other adverts out in, in Australia, so hopefully some of the geeks will have some, some people out there, which would be nice. This is oh, yeah, amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, we've just come back from Asia, we did a two month tour out there. We're hoping to go back towards the end of the year, it's all, it's all starting to be booked up. Yeah, we, 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 kind of, we all live in Brighton, we're all based in Brighton, but we haven't seen anything of Brighton for a long Almost time. A year. Really. Yeah, we, we spent six months doing our album in France, and then two months in Asia, and then since we've been back, really, we've sort of had the night here and there back at home, but everything else has just been amazing. It's great. A big old discussion oh, yeah, about the yeah, title. Yeah. We had lots of different names to, to try and sum up the whole concept of the album. But, um, Fake Control actually came from one of the songs, which is now called They Sold You, which has it in the. Um, that was called Fake Control. Yeah, it? the song was called Fake Control, and then it's one of the lyrics in the song basically. Yeah. It's just enough to fake control. So we decided to call the album. Mine is is they sold you, I think, because live we opened the show with that live, and Clark's now featuring his drumming skills, so he's got a little drum on the side that he. I don't. I just love, for me, playing the drums to that is, is my definitely my favourite. Mine, I would say, is inside. It's the one I'm most passionate about, and the one I get most into from it before. Hmm. Uh, on the album, it's inside, but life reconnect life. Inside for me, one of my favourites. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We, uh, we like to get little coach loads to our gigs that are they're local, you know, London and along the south. We, we bumped into people in Vietnam that were from Brighton. Yeah, yeah. Like knew us playing outside the shopping centre. Randomly yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to. <laughs> Because we've, we've always been musicians, I think. Yeah. As a band, I think we've learned, like, we, we, I'd say we're quite hard working. So, you know, every day we get up and the first thing we do is we're on the emails to each other and then usually an hour later we have to meet up, get a train or get on the van or something like that. So, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's always all we think about, pretty yeah. much. For me, it's not like how good you are, it's just how good you want to be. Yeah. I, yeah. I can't remember the last time I practiced. <laughs> it's just it's either playing or reading emails. Yeah. <laughs> Hard work yeah. is yeah. the best thing we've learned. Cosmic. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dip. <laughs> Dip. We heard that on a radio interview the other day. The DJ described as being cosmic. So let's go with that. Yeah. yeah. Cosmic. cosmic. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Writing does it for me. Yeah. I, I love writing, and that's where the whole creative process lies. I guess I think that's why that's why I'm in it. Yeah, playing live is probably yeah, main, the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel happiest on stage watching people singing or jumping, mm. and then inspiring people as well. Like we have lots yeah. of fan mail that you know they, they get into the songs they understand the lyrics and that's amazing feeling when people enjoy it and feel like you've given them something you know. we're gonna go on youtube ourselves yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the main part of thinking about it right? see if this video's up by the time we get back and <laughs> yeah. um, we're off back out to sort of asia later in the year i hope we say we're going to australia lots of traveling which is exciting yeah and um, got a couple of london gigs coming up one on the 8th of July at Bedford, one on the 21st in Night Three for East. Lots of gigs, street gig tour. Yeah, just work, work, work. Like, love, love, love. Like, and cool. Again, we've said it a million times, but we always have to check our own website to see what's next. So, uh, yeah. you should do the same. <laughs> 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 <laughs>